my friends. We're gonna do, um, it's a short walk. It's gonna take us about 45 uh, minutes, one hour maybe. Depends of how many things we're going to see. We may see, uh, there's only one thing I can guarantee. Plants, trees, and that's it. But you never know, it's very unpredictable. We might see uh, monkeys, we might see uh, birds. You never know what you're going to see. Now, something very important. I'm gonna be always the first one on the line. In case I get to see a snake, I will be the first one running out, okay? <laughs> I will let you know that there is a snake, okay? So let me go in front in case there is something. Now, remember, if, you're, if you feel like that you're gonna fall down, try not to hold from a tree or lean on a tree because there might be a lot of dangerous uh, things like spines and thorns. So just uh, try to be very careful. If you're gonna touch something like a flower, a leaf, anything you wanna touch, try to be very careful, okay? Just watch first and then touch. And a better advice, don't touch. <laughs> Because you never know what, what's going to be over there. Like the bullet end we were talking about is about this size. And they have two mandibles and a stinger. You know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so they can bite you and they can stink you at the same time. And they have an acid that is called formic acid. And it hurts like if you got shot. That spider is called the Nephila. Yeah, that's, that's called the Nephila. What you're looking at, it's a female. And uh, the female is like three times bigger than the male. And they live like the, um, like the black widows, you know, when they mate, after they mate. They kill. The, no, not, not only kill, but the female eats the, the, the female eats the male. Actually, the real name, or the English name is Orb Spider Web. Okay. That's the Orb Spider Web. The scientific name is uh, Nephila clavipes. But the web is very strong. Actually, the, the Indians, they used to make the fishing lines out of the web. Okay, here, this is a very uh, interesting uh, plant, but not only interesting, but also very uh, useful. See, you never know when you're going to get lost in the forest. Most of the plants are going to have three veins, maybe. Some of them just one. But cowstone has five veins. So you see it first, looks like a cowstone. And you go like this and count, and you're gonna count five veins, like this. One, two, three, four, and five. So you see it, cow's tongue, turn it, five veins, edible. Your head and eat it. Now, if you're not used to this, you might get some digestive problems. And then we have this plant over here. <laughs> and then you have <laughs> could be like uh, toilet paper. <laughs> we have um, we have spider monkeys right above us. They're moving around. We're gonna try to take a good look at them. We call them spider monkeys and they're just around, just above us. They're moving over there. There it is. See it? It's right over there. That's the uh, spider monkey. That's the largest monkey that we have on the Caribbean side. Then we have the howler monkey, and then we have the uh, white-faced monkey. The white-faced monkey is the smallest monkey that we have on the Caribbean side. This is the largest one. Not the, not the biggest one, but the largest. And they call it uh, spider monkey once again because they only have four fingers so they can swing 
better than the other two varieties that we have here that have uh, five fingers. They also have, you notice, they have a, a prehensile tail, which is like their hand number five. It'll, it helps them a lot to hold on to branches and things like that. They can hold to branches and eat at the same time. They usually travel in trips of seven, ten. <coughs> That's a female. See how they use their prehensile tail? <laughs> that one almost fell down. This is the first time they get so close. 